Hey everybody, we're looking at number three. They're asking, what is the volume of the solid figure in cubic feet? Show your work. And what makes this a little bit tricky is that we have um, like what you might think of as steps, but our best approach for figuring this out, we do have two approaches, but I'm gonna propose that we pretend we have the entire rectangular prism by first finding if this wasn't gone, you know, if we slip that in there, what would the volume be? And then we'll find the volume of this red uh, prism separately, and then we'll subtract that volume out. So that's what I'm proposing. So let's pretend we're gonna find the volume of this entire thing. So what would the length be? The length would be nine right here. What would the height be? It would be this. And what would the, the uh, depth be? It would be this number. So we're really doing volume equals, let's do nine times 6.5 times 4.5. Now we won't be finished when we get that number, because remember we have to subtract out that red rectangular prism from that. All right, so let's get out our calculators. Let's get those out. And we're gonna multiply nine times 6.5 times 4.5. And we get this number, which is probably a choice by the way. Actually, I'm surprised that it's not a choice. So 263, and 45 hundredths. But again, that's not the answer, folks. That's not the answer. Because what we need to do next is we need to think about what's the uh, what are the dimensions of this piece, right? So here's what we know. They tell you right here that this line, this line, they're telling you that that's one and five tenths. So let's, let's call that the height of this thing. They're telling us that this line right here is three. So that would be the width of this thing. So, so far we got 1.5 by three, and then this line is still the same 6.5. That's gonna work you know, here as well, right? That's, that's gotta be 6.5 as well. So let's write the numbers down so we can see it on the, the actual rectangular prism that I drew. So this green line, I pulled that from right here, that's 1 5 tenths. This blue line, this blue line right here, I pulled from right here, that's three. And this blue line, I pulled from right here, so that's six and five tenths. All right, so let's find the volume of the red prism, which is volume equals length times width times height, or um, let's call 6.5 the length. Let's call three the, the width, and let's call 1.5 the height. All right, so you'll finish that computation and you're gonna get some number, right? When you multiply these three things together, just be careful with your decimal. So the next step will be to take that number and subtract it from this number and that will be one of the answer choices that you see right here. All right, so again, let me say that again. You're taking whatever you get when you multiply these three numbers together, subtracting it from this number and that will be your answer. All right, good luck finishing that up.